was a problem with flight operations. Son of a bitch. I told him not to tell you. You did what? Well, if he knew it was me, you wouldn't take the flight. You got that right. I don't see what the problem is. Of course you wouldn't, Coop. This was supposed to be my ship. When we get back, it will be. I get the new one, and this piece of shit is yours. Look, Av, come on. It's an easy run. We taxi the passengers, pick up the cargo. We'll be back in a couple of days. Passengers? Yeah. You know, IPT. Anything for a buck. They didn't want us to fly out empty. What's going on here, Cooper? Nothing. Nothing. Look, if you want to be discharged from this flight, it's fine. Just tell me now. Otherwise, let's get to work. We boarded the plane under the cover of darkness. We paid our money. No questions asked. For some, it was a journey to escape the past. For others, the only hope of finding a future. Lazarus. Con man. His conscience long ago deserted him. Shepard. IPT's chief medical advisor. His drug addiction cut short a gifted career. The interior hatches are all secured. Hey, clean. What's the problem with that door? I called up flight operations uh, three weeks ago. They haven't sent the parts yet. Ah, screw it. Let's get this bird in the air. We have been confirmed for takeoff. Please take your seats. This will be your only advice. Stand by. We are locked in. Systems are go. Systems are go. On your command. Ready? Ready. 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 Engines on, fire. It is 0400 
8 hours Pacific Standard Time. Our estimated flight time to Penang is 8 hours and 26 minutes. So far, so good, wouldn't you say? Uh-huh. I can confirm horizontal stabilizer is active. Thrust reversers one, two, and three. I can read the instrument panel. I need a cup of coffee. Is that an order, Captain? Does it need to be? Uh, <clears throat> I'm gonna go check the hydraulic stabilizers. Doc, I didn't see you on the passenger list. What are you doing on this run? Transferred. Transferred? To the South Asian sector? Guess I used up my last favor. So you walked out on another rehab program, didn't you? Doc, how you doing? Why don't you give a couple of these to Cooper? Might sweeten them up a little bit. Hey, Doc, did you hear the news? They caught two of those spares that escaped from the tank last week. Actually, they terminated one. Captured another. Third one's still on the loose. Hmm. Didn't know you had an interest in spares, Cleve. Excuse me. Genetically engineered spare parts, it's all I live for. How could they escape? I didn't know that spares could think. Oh, that's what the Health Federation would like us all to believe. Mindless existence created just to be donor organs for humans. But in theory, given their genetic makeup, spares could develop mental capacities far beyond human intelligence. Yeah, well, I'll leave the moralizing for the philosophers. Me, I'm more concerned with getting my hands on that reward they're offering for the third spare. <laughs> So, how you doing, Doc? I'm doing fine, Meg, thank you. Good. Systems all tweaked and active. Well, we've drifted. Have Des calculate a course correction. Well, it was only a matter of time. I just didn't figure it'd be so soon. What? What are you talking about? I thought that you and I could kind of come to some kind of resolve. But we can't even do that, so let's just get through this flight, okay? No, not okay, Coop. You crashed your last barge, and now you're in charge of my ship. That crash had nothing to do with... Not only were you negligent and completely irresponsible, but you were a goddamn idiot. I trusted my instincts. Well, it seems like we're both paying for your mistakes, doesn't it? The company gave me this line. I couldn't pass it up. You'll do anything, anything, to get back at me for moving out on you, won't you? Where'd you get this stuff from? That was almost a year ago, and it was your career that got in the way. My career? My career? Who do you think I learned that from, Coop? Good to see you two are getting along okay. At least there's no blood on the walls.
are obstructed. Boosters 1 and 3 are depleted. We are losing altitude at 500 meters per second. That's impossible. Double check your readings. Confirmed. Boosters 1 and 3 are out. Clean, damn it. Hey, hey, don't blame me. I just had this thing serviced last week. Boosters operating at 63% and dropping. Some scope, Ab. I'm trying, I'm trying. Dez, alert the passengers. Have them return to their quarters and strap in. Ab, I need firing coordinates. Stand by. We are experiencing some unexpected turbulence. Please return to your compartments and engage your safety harnesses. to IPT Central, do you read me? IPT Central, this is Armstrong, zero nine are over. They're coming down, don't waste your time. Give me the coordinates. Dropping. Dez, give me a forward view. We're losing pressure in one, three, and five, Coop. Bring her up. God damn it, Coop, bring her up! I know! What's wrong with the thrusters, Clean? We've got trouble with the start with thrusters, the heat shields, and the stabilizing fin. Ev. I'm trying. The navigational system is out. Feed it to Dez. I've got no information to feed, Coop. Yeah, feed her this. We're losing fuel at the rate of one meter per second. I'm going manual. Clean, disengage three, five, and seven. We're going manual. Expect increase in atmospheric turbulence in five seconds. Four, three, two, hey. one. Come down. Come down. Just the land is a bitch. Give me a hand here. 
Oh. Careful. All right. Whoa. Des. Des, status report. Sorry, Captain. Captain. Operating on reserve uh. power. Expect delays. Crash landing has impaired the interior hydrothermal regulator and two systems critical okay, to take Okay, okay, I get the picture. What's the sector ID? Sector ID. Edmonds Wasteland, South Asian sector. Damn it, we can't be that far, of course. What else, Des? The data transmitter has sustained major damage, preventing Netcon linkup. Perfect. How long before we reconnect? The damage is extensive. We could be disconnected indefinitely. We got, uh, one, two broken circuit boards here. I, I, um, I can manufacture some replacements, but I'm, I'm, I'm gonna need dry to mine. Des, give us a, give us a geological survey, specifically searching for tritomite silicate. Whoa! What the hell was that? A 3.2 tremor. According to my geological reading, this region is seismic. Great. Uh, that's great. Okay, um, I'm gonna go check on the passengers, and I'm gonna get Doc and have him take a look at your arm, okay? I'll be right back. Thank you. Des, what about the tritomite? Tritomite silicate is indigenous to this region. Stand by for coordinates. Are you guys okay? Are you all right? Are you hurt? All right? Are you okay? Yeah, yeah, I think so. Oh, okay. Jeez. What the hell happened? We've crashed. Are you hurt? Well, nothing's broken, if that's what you mean. Good. I need to get everybody to the rec room, okay? Let's go. Watch your step here. Come on. Got it? You guys can see okay? Be careful there. Doc? Doc? Oh, jeez. Doc, come on. Come on, Doc. Wake up. Wake up, wake up, wake up. Evident. Have we arrived? Not exactly. All right, everybody, here's the situation. We're gonna work as quickly as we can to rectify the problems and get us back in the air. And, uh, excuse me. J just when in the hell is that going to be? As soon as possible. As soon as possible. Listen, Toots, you don't understand. I got to be Penang by the night. No, you don't understand. As far as I'm concerned, you weren't even supposed to be on this flight to begin with. So why don't you just settle down and relax? Now, we have enough food and supplies to last us as long as we ration it. Will they send anyone to look for us? Of course. Standard operating procedure. Now, it may get a little warm in here because the thermoregulator's down. We'll update everyone in about an hour. So while we're all sitting around here, uh, is there anything we can do to help? Nothing, but thank you for asking. Doc, mm -hmm. can you come with me? Clean's cut his arm, and I need you to take a look at it. Of course, of course. Yeah. Uh, Watch your step. I'm fine. According to spectrographic analysis, there is a vein of tritomite silicate two kilometers southeast of our present location. Yeah. According to the DB, the terrain is navigable, but here's the catch. The outside temperature is 129 degrees, and it's not even noon yet. So what's the next step? We mount a mining expedition. Not until the sun goes down. Go out in this heat, you won't last 10 minutes. Well, that may not even be an issue. The main hatch is jammed, the escape hatch is buried. We'll use the cargo hatch. Well, it's gonna take full power to open. Great. Clean and I will go check it out. Thanks, Doc. I'll get ready. See you in a bit. Hey, 
clean. Uh-huh. If we tap into Dez's phase two auxiliary system, we're gonna have enough juice to open up that hatch. Th that's gonna put a heavy drain on the system. I think that's a chance we gotta take. <sighs> okay. Okay, let, let's, let's try it. Check your vid mail. I had to watch the thing three times before I could even begin to understand what it was that she was saying. <laughs> yeah, I know that things weren't perfect between us, you know. You know we had problems, and, uh... But the thing is, that she didn't even have the courage, or the decency to tell me to my face. She just walks out. Isn't she free to choose? Free. Is she free to choose? Is that what you think? What, if, what about the marriage? You, you, can't she choose to stay in the marriage? I don't know. Look, I'm sorry, it's not, it's, this isn't about you. It's not you, it's me. Anyways, forget it. It doesn't matter now. I'm sorry. So, what about you? What is it that you're running from? Why do you think I'm running? Because, my dear, man is always searching for hiding. You're either the hunter or the huntee. Why else would you be on this flight?
I'm fine! What happened? I can't see a thing up here! I'm in some kind of a cave! Oh, God, Cooper. Can you hear me? Clean! Will you talk to me? Clean! Coop, let, let's just get him back to the ship, okay? Let's just get him back to the ship. Come on, let's get him out of here. Oh, my God. What is that? Come on, Clean. 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 Can you hear me? Why isn't he answering? What's going on, Doc? He's burning up. Give me some ice packs now. What happened? I think he might have been exposed to some kind of biochemical. Why a chemical? How? Hey, I don't know. We fell in this cave, this, this cavern. Yeah, it was definitely man-made. Uh, they were stacked with these canisters. They were all marked with a biohazard warning. They were all labeled Ravager. Yeah, Adam, one of them was punctured, and the next thing we know, his body's going into this convulsion. Convulsions? How long did they last? Seconds, maybe, and then his body went limp like it is now. Ah! Hold it still! Ah! some kind of toxic reaction. I'll clean him up the best I can. What is it? I don't know. Come on, Doc, he's still burning up. Why is he burning up? Move, move the pack. Clean. Can you hear us, buddy? Doc, there's got to be something else we can do. I need more medical supplies. Without antibiotics, we're, we're going to have to keep the ice packs on him and just hope the fever breaks. some proper tests, but I need to know more about this biohazard he was exposed to. We told you all we know. Oh, my God, Doc. We need to isolate him immediately. Get his legs out. What the hell is that? Grab that. What the hell is going on? It looks like hemorrhagic fever. What is that? It's a virus, right? It's a galaxy of symptoms caused by a virus. If there was a virus in that cave, then we'd be sick, too. Only if it was airborne. Keen cut his arm. That's how the virus penetrated his system. A virus? What kind of virus? Go back to your quarters. There's no need to panic at this time. Oh, well, will it be a good time to panic? Jesus Christ. Did you see that, man? Doc, have you ever seen anything like this? Never. Nothing that was at this speed. Come on, let's get out of here. Could we have a wildfire on our hands? Wildfire? What do you mean, wildfire? That biohazard crap I heard you guys talking about, right? Wait, wait, wait. Biohazard? What the hell's going on in there? Uh, uh, do something! I can't! Uh, the system is a complete breakdown. Oh, God, somebody help him already. He's crying! Please! 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 Somebody help him!
Here's to you, Mick McLean. You were a better friend than you were an engineer, and that's saying something. You're talking about him as if he was dead, Coop. He might as well be. As high as his temperature has arisen, the coma is irreversible. Could we all have been contaminated? Christ, the whole ship's been contaminated. You knew he had been exposed to something. Why the hell did you bring him back? What was I supposed to do? Leave him outside to die? Well, hell yeah. I mean, look. Now we've all been exposed. Look, calm down. It's been hours since we were exposed to clean. None of us is showing any symptoms yet. Ah, uh, that's real comforting, Doc. Doc, how will we know if it's airborne? When one of us begins to show signs or symptoms. What did they fax you your diploma, Doc? Hey, you know what? This whole thing is a bunch of shit. Damn it, everybody just settle down. Now, the first thing we need to do is we need to prioritize. You want to know how I see it, toots? Not particularly. The only person that could fix this piece of crap of a ship is on his last leg over there, frothing all over the place. And I bet you two don't even have a clue what to do next, huh? I've had just about enough of this. Right, Coop, you know what? He's not even worth it. We need to stick together if we're going to make it through this, OK? Emergency. Emergency. The reserve power generator is going down. I'm launching the top platform. Looks like our first job to get the solar power online. Come on, Ab. Our journey now impeded. The despair I saw in each of us was as dark and hostile as the wasteland we now inhabited. I watched a man suffer, the promise of death his only comfort. What if I had revealed myself, the reason I was made my true purpose? Could his suffering have been avoided? Could all of this have been avoided? The heat insulation in the hull works like a semiconductor. So in theory, we can make a photovoltaic cell. Well, we'll find out when the sun comes up. What if this doesn't work? Then we go back to square one. Come on. How long should it take to manufacture the electricity? Immediately. Then we can leave? No, not quite. We still have to get the tritomite to get the circuit boards back up. Well? Well, this isn't full power. Yeah. Keep your beams on you. You'll need them. Oh, great. The main airlock door has been breached. Queen. Hang on, Ed. Dez, kill the alarm.
Where the hell is Clean? I don't know, but it took a hell of a lot of strength to rip through that door. I thought you said Clean was as good as dead. For every indication he was. It doesn't make sense. Doesn't make sense. This whole flight doesn't make sense, man. What do we do now? Fly and clean. Dan's give me a thermoscan reading. A desired location? Entire ship. Captain, I show no movement outside of main airlock and adjoining corridor. However, due to excessive interior temperature and the fact that thermocells 3, 5, and 7 are not 100%, my reading is at best 30% accurate. is alive, why is he hiding? Maybe he's not hiding. Maybe he's just so sick he's passed out somewhere. But he's not registering on the thorough scan. Shepard? What about it? Well, the only thing I can suggest is, it, is that his body temperature has risen so high it's not reading him as a life form. Yeah, well, Maybe if you weren't so high, Doc, you'd still be registering as a life form. Uh, where the hell are you going now? Why don't you shut up? It's all you ever do is sit there and complain. Listen, Lenny, why don't you shut up? Right. Get up, man. What's wrong with you, you animal? It's enough. We need to locate clean and make repairs to the ship as soon as possible. Okay, I'll uh, I'll head back to the cave and look for the tritomite. You're not going alone. Kate? Yeah, well, that's what we gotta do, right? Well, it's either that or we stay here forever. Well, that's the answer, isn't it? Let's go. No. No, I'll, I'll go. I need to look at the canisters anyway. Maybe I'll find some answers. You sure, Doc? Yeah. Okay. We can go as soon as the sun goes down. Okay. I just get my bag. Fear, the common thread among us, kept us together and worlds apart. As we searched the ship for clean, nothing could prepare us for what we would discover. There it is, just up ahead. The Tritomite's not far from here. I'll be in and out in no time.
nothing. You're the third spare, aren't you? Don't worry, your secret's safe with me. You better watch out for Lazarus. Come on, you two. Let's stick together. Hey, what he's trying to say is, come on, let's stop lollygagging. Dragging this thing out of the cave. Is it gonna be all right? I think so. Seal's still intact. We'd better get back to the ship. All right. Don't worry, I'll get the canister. Okay. I'll get the bag of tridomite.
You okay, Doc? So far, so good. We should go check in with the others, all right? Okay. Cooper? Cooper, can you read us? Coop, where are you? Cooper, can you read us? Cooper, damn it, where are you? In the control room. Kate's been hurt. You're gonna have to override it from your side. Have we saw clean. Or at least what used to be clean. What? He took Lazarus. It's assimilating his blood. <laughs> Manual override. Yeah, we can't. Sees lymphatic tissue devouring the blood. What does that mean? The lymph vessels are its host. That's how it survives. So clean, he, he's now an it? No. no. It is the virus. Clean is no longer in control. Ravager is shutting down his system, rebuilding it, mutating it. it. It's taking over his body, feeding on his lymphatic system. And when his system is completely devoured, it'll need a new host. That's why he attacked Lazarus. Doc, the, the lymph system is supposed to fight disease. Exactly. That's the contempt that makes it so brilliant. Ravager thrives on the system that was designed to kill it. So, so how do we stop it? If I could do some more tests, I, I might be able to come up with some answers. I'm out of my league here. My hypotheses are based on feeble conjecture. What about Cade? He's had extensive internal injuries. He's going to need surgery. I need to get him to a class one med lab as soon as possible. What about Penang? You'd be lucky to find a first aid kit in that rat hole. Besides, we're all going to need a complete evaluation. Evaluation? It's the only way we can be 100% sure. Sure of what? Whether or not we've been infected. What in God's name have we created now? Doing here. This is a secret burial ground for biomilitary waste. Yeah. <laughs>
Captain, interior and exterior thermoscan readings still show no signs of McLean or Lazarus. All other passengers accounted for. Thanks, Stace. ironic. I was beginning to reason, to think. Words and sentences came easy. The more my mind developed, the more I dreamed about escaping. The doctors gave us drugs to impede our development. If that failed, they performed surgery. I pretended to take my pills. I planned my escape. Why are you telling me this? I've lost my purpose. I look at you, I see your wounds, and I see my purpose. I want to live. I want to live. <laughs> Is it selfish? Is it selfish to want to be free? Kate? Is it selfish to want to live? Selfish. What you're experiencing is guilt. Guilt doesn't serve you at all. It's up to you to decide what to do with it. I think I may have learned that lesson a little too late for myself. I'm 
feel what it's like to be human. <laughs> You already have. You're experiencing one of the greatest human emotions that there is. It's called compassion. couldn't sleep. Oh, yeah. You know, I was kind of expecting a search party by now. No one knows about us, do they? That's why I couldn't get a hold of IPT. This flight isn't even registered or logged anywhere, is it? None of these passengers have any letters of transit, do they, Coop? Do they? Technically. You are a son of a bitch. I took the captain's chair to protect you. If anything went wrong, I didn't want you to take the heat.
emergency interrupt. I detect trouble in Shepard's compartment. The thermoscan readout is 122 and rising. Shepard, open up! Doc! You okay? Access denied. Damn it. Open the door, Shepard! Doc! Open the damn door! <laughs> Stay back! I don't care. You have to. Someone's got to pilot the ship. Damn it. The power generator. Okay, Sarah, you better come with us. Come on. Even Sarah. Company Directive 536 prohibits initiating takeoff sequence without direct order of the captain. Mm. Good God! What? We 
Marines got control of the ship. Em emergency override. Zero. Zero. Seven. Five. Invalid entry. We've got to hurry up, crew. The sun's coming up. Emergency uh, override. Zero. Zero. Seven. Five. Invalid entry, Mr. McLean. Emergency override. Zero. 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 Nine. Five. Access granted. Captain <laughs> McLean. Initiating takeoff sequence. Captain McLean. We gotta get to control. I know that, Guess. McLean, come on. We can help you. Don't patronize me. You don't know what the fuck you're talking about. No! no! We're leaving here. 
We're together. We're a team. Dez, are you with me? Yes, sir, Captain. Sarah, back left panel, B-237. Sarah, move! Dez. We gotta blow it out, Bath. Dez! Give me emergency shuttle readings. If this barge makes it back to civilization with those canisters, Ravager could wipe out the entire population. Dez! Shuttle one confirmed. All no, 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 shuttle one, impact. there's only life support for two people, Coop. Make it work. Des, set Armstrong's... Set Armstrong's auto termination bank for zero minus four minutes. Set emergency shuttle one coordinates for IPT Central Western Sector USA. Auto termination bank intact. Zero minus Coop, four minutes. Coop, there is only life support for two people. Do you understand me? There is no problem. Shuttle one's coordinates. I won't be going. Christ. Destination. We're doing time for heroics. This isn't heroics. I Central. I'm a spare. What? WF1278. I can't go back. Listen to me, both of you. We're all going back together. I'm telling you, I can't go back. Look, either we all go back together or we stay here and die. All right? Let's go. Auto termination. Sarah, is go, go! Okay, Zero go. minutes, four minutes, and counting. Go! Zero minus three minutes, forty-eight seconds, and counting. Damn it, Des! The shuttle hatch is jammed. Yeah, Negative. Come on, you try. Come on. Shuttle one hatch is operative. Oh, get inside! You weren't leaving without me. Come on, come on! Not come on. without ah. me. Zero minus two minutes. Zero minus one minute, twenty five seconds, Death. and counting. Death, open the door! Cooper, no! Go! No, go! Zero minus one minute, five seconds. Zero minus forty okay. seconds and counting. Zero minus thirty seconds and counting. Zero minus five seconds and counting. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, two, one, zero. Stand by ignition. No! No! In my search for existence, I have ceased to exist. I know what it's like to kill, to 
take a human life. The very thing I cherished and longed to become, I destroyed. Yet the logic behind a race that creates only to destroy is maddening. In a strange way, the virus and the spare are synonymous. Both are perfectly simple and pure. Their existence depends solely on a host. My destiny, now more than ever, is shrouded in uncertainty. Will it be swallowed up in the mouth of apathy or embraced by the arms of compassion? Who am I? What am I? I no longer exist as a spare. But do I belong to the human race?